Hi there. Now for this last part of the question then, we had to find the exact value of t when, for this equation, v equaled 15,000. And you can see that that exact value for t was 10 times the natural log of 9 sevenths. So I'll show you how I went about achieving that result. Obviously, we substitute 15,000 into this equation here. And then, noticing that that gives us some negative exponential values, I wanted to get rid of these. So, if I multiply through by e to the 0.2t, then I could see that this would go to 1, this would go to e to the 0.1t, just by adding the powers. So, that gives us this result here, and I also divided through by 1000. So, bringing the terms to one side, making it equal to zero, because I could see that I've got a quadratic equation occurring here in e to the 0.1t. Remember, e to the 0.1t all squared is going to be e to the 0.2t here. So, getting that quadratic equation then in e to the 0.1t, I've let x equal e to the 0.1t and I've divided through by 2. So, that gives me a nice quadratic equation which factorises leading to x equals 9 sevenths or x equals minus 1. Now, we know then that when x is minus 1, we've got e to the 0.1t equals minus 1. And for an exponential graph like this, it can never be negative. So, therefore, there's no solution. So, when x equals 9 sevenths, we've got e to the 0.1t then for x equals 9 sevenths. And then, I've just taken natural logs to both sides. That leaves me with 0.1t equals the natural log of 9 sevenths. And then, if I multiply both sides by 10, you can see I end up with that exact result then for t. t equals 10 times the natural log of 9 sevenths. Okay?